Hello, I'm Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. Hello, Dr. Ross Walker, welcome to The Checkup. I've recently spoken about the benefits of the forgotten vitamin, vitamin E, and it's, it's, it's benefits for reducing your risk for vascular disease just by taking a combination of around 400 to 500 international units a day of natural vitamin E or tocotrienols combined with vitamin C. But interestingly, a recent study looking at the ca potential cancer benefits of vitamin E, I found quite astounding. There are these particular immune cells called dendritic cells. I'm sure most of you have never heard of these dendritic cells. But the function of dendritic cells is to take bits of foreign protein called antigens and present them to the T cells, which are part of our immune system, to, to help in the fight against cancer. So if, if cancer produces these foreign antigens, bits of, of cancer protein break off, the dendrite cell takes that to a T cell and the T cell then forms a reaction against the cancer. Now, over 10 years ago, if you had advanced melanoma as one example, that was a death sentence. People did not survive advanced melanoma. And over the last 10 years, there's been the increasing use of this, this treatment called immunotherapy, which doesn't kill the cancer, but what it does do is markedly improve your immune system's ability to kill the cancer. So if you imagine cancers, have this little invisible shield around them. So the immune system can't recognize them. What this immunotherapy does is punch holes in the, in, the, uh, in the invisible shield around them. So the immune system says, hang on a minute, there's a cancer in there and goes in and kills it. So this is interesting. If you use immunotherapy with, with this vitamin E, so natural vitamin E given to people who have immunotherapy who also have an underlying cancer, it markedly improves survival by adding the vitamin E to the immunotherapy. And they found that this is also showing some promise in breast cancer, in colon cancer, and in kidney cancers as well. So it, it may become now standard of care that everyone who gets immunotherapy is given vitamin E. And I think it's about time the, the conservative medical profession started to also look at the benefits of integrative medicine, which is where you combine the best bits of orthodox medicine with the best bits of complementary medicine. That's a checkup. We'll talk to you next week.